Hey guys, so what's the bootloader? I know we've thrown that word around quite a bit, but what is it? Why is it there? What does it do? Why is it so difficult to unlock? That's what we're going to talk about today on the very first episode of Android Power User. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Android Power User? What's that? Isn't this supposed to be the Android Guy Weekly? It's the evolution of that. Let me tell you why. We're changing things up just a little bit. Okay, we're changing things up a lot. But what we're doing is we're taking what was originally kind of an editorial with some technical roots that a lot of you have told us was a little bit long-winded, and I'll be the first to agree, and we're turning it into something that's going to take regular Android users and turn them into Android power users. So where does that leave all of you power users already? Well, this is going to help us get back to our roots and establish a firm foundation, teach us a lot about stuff that we may know a little bit about, but a lot of detail about what's there, why it's there, why we have it, and what we can do to get around it, at least in the case of today's video. So today's topic is, what is the bootloader? Before we talk about that, we've got to talk about what is booting. It's an unusual word, booting, in a computer. We use it every day, but what does it mean and where did it come from? Well, when you are getting up to do a job, whether that's in the military, whether that's a private contractor, whether that's at a desk, you know, like me, one of the first things you do after you get dressed is you put your boots on. That's where the term bootstrapping comes from. Bootstrapping helps you put your boots on faster. You put straps on your boots so you can pull them up quicker. So when you're booting up, that means you're, you're putting your boots on. You're getting ready to go to work. That's where that term comes from. So, now that we've got that out of the way, what's the bootloader? Well, the bootloader is code that runs really before any operating system loads. Its purpose is essentially like your brain telling you how to put your boots on. Once you get your boots on, then you can go out and build a bridge, or dig a hole, or put up a fence, or launch a rocket to Mars. All of those things are different. They're operating system things that your brain does. But first and foremost, you gotta put your boots on and you gotta load that up. You gotta hit the ground and go to work. That's what the bootloader does. You could have a bootloader that boots up Android. You could have a bootloader that boots up Windows Phone. You could have a bootloader that boots up iOS or Windows or Linux or any one of those. They all do kind of the same job but in different ways but they all have to start with that bootloader. So it's custom code. It sits there and essentially just waits for a kernel and waits for an operating system so it can boot right up and get to work. Bootloaders are very hardware specific. In fact, every smartphone that you have out there, every tablet, even every desktop and laptop computer, they're all going to have different bootloaders. They're specific to the board that they're running on. That's one reason why there's no two ways to unlock a bootloader that's exactly the same because all the bootloaders are different. Now you're thinking, wait a minute, Android is open source. I should be able to get in there and do that really fast, really easy, right? Android's open source, bootloaders aren't. They're proprietary to the manufacturer that makes the device. That gets us to our next question. Why are bootloaders locked? It's a good question, very frustrating question. Luckily, we've got really smart members in the community who can unlock bootloaders very quickly. Sometimes we get stumbling blocks, but why are they locked in the first place? Well, it comes down to a couple reasons. First of all, you've got carriers. Carriers want to limit you to what they tell you you can do. They've done all this demographics, they've studied all this stuff, they know what's best for you. At least that's what they think. They also know they've only got a certain amount of bandwidth on their networks. So they can't let you do everything because then you could gobble up all of their bandwidth and that would hurt everybody. From a manufacturer's standpoint, they might lock their bootloader because they don't want you getting in there and messing with it. Now, why wouldn't they want you doing that? Well, they're the ones who have to warranty these things and if you brick your device after you've had it two days, it's going to cost them money to fix it for you. Now luckily they're going to be able to say, <laughs> you unlocked your bootloader and did something to it and broke it so that's not covered by warranty. But they still don't even want the call because the call takes money and of course that makes you frustrated and upset and you're going to tell the Twitterverse about 
how terrible manufacturer XYZ is because their phone doesn't work anymore and you're just going to leave out the fact that you were trying to unlock the bootloader and bricked it. So they don't want the negative press either. So why would someone want to unlock their bootloader? Well, very simply, people want to be able to do stuff with their phones that they might not be able to. And when I say phones, I mean tablets as well. You want to do stuff. Maybe you want to overclock. Great, you've got to unlock your bootloader, probably throw on a custom kernel. Maybe you want to run a custom ROM, like CyanogenMod or AOKP. Great, you've got to unlock your bootloader, flash custom ROM. you just got to do it. Maybe all you want to do is run some apps that aren't available on your phone. Well, okay, unlock your bootloader and install them. You don't always have to do it for custom apps, but sometimes you do. Case in point, you want to be able to run apps that require root permissions. To get root, generally speaking, you got to unlock your bootloader and, say it with me, flash a custom ROM. Or unlock your bootloader and unlock access to root. Install all the stuff that you need for root. That's something else. We'll talk about that in an upcoming video. But there are lots and lots of reasons. You want to tether on your device, but you don't have a tethering app on your device? Great. Unlock your bootloader and go ahead and do it. You want to run Google Wallet before it was available everywhere? Great. Unlock your bootloader and flash that Google Wallet APK onto your device and break your secure element like I did in the past. But that's a risk that you take when you're unlocking your bootloader and that's why it's locked. So that's a, just a very quick overview about why we have bootloaders, what it is. So we've got two things to talk about in our comments today. First thing is bootloaders, questions, comments. Why do you unlock your bootloader? Why, why do you leave it locked? What do you want to do to, to make you have to unlock it? And what are some reasons why you might not ever want to unlock it? Let, let us know down in the comments, just right down below. Okay, go ahead and do that. Of course, this is where I'm going to put in the plug. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. The second part of the comments this is our first Android Power User episode. It's still in its infancy and it's still growing and developing. We want to know what you want out of this. Okay, we've kind of evolved from the editorial flavor of the Android Guy Weekly and we were moving more and more towards educational topics as we were going and really found out, you know, this is, this is something that deserves a different format, a different show. That's why we're here. We're going to do a lot tighter coupling of the video with the article over at pocketnow.com. So make sure you head over to the article itself. The link is going to be right down there. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's right there. Okay, click on that, go to Pocket Now, and you can get details that aren't in the video over at pocketnow.com. You can also kind of talk about that in the conversation over there in the, uh, the comments on that article as well. But we want to know today, what do you think of the new format? How do you want it to change? We're going to try and keep these relatively short with more detail over at the article. So you want to go over there and get that. Let us know what you think and how you like it. Good. All right. For Pocket Now and the Android Power User Weekly, I'm Joe Levi, and thanks for watching.